Alex in Alberta, Canada. Hmm. I am heading to Montreal, Canada here in a couple of days. By the time you see this video, I will have already come and gone. <laughs> There's the Montreal Hi-Fi show, which I enjoy. Uh, I recently saw a video of a Hyundai EV with an electric vehicle with a vehicle to load function. An inverter supplies power from the vehicle to a regular NEMA outlet. It appeared that when the when measured, the power coming out of the EV was a nice 120 volts and stable. This got me thinking. If someone wanted to, could they use their EV as a power cleaner for their home audio system? Is that power really clean? Well, yes, it is really clean. The batteries that whether you're using, and, and just so that you're clear, an EV, an electric vehicle, a number of them today are able to do a reverse thing. So in the case of a power outage, your car could power your home for probably a day or so. I, I, I don't know any of the details. As a Tesla owner, I, they don't have that feature and that's not all that interesting to me. I have thought about putting up one of those uh, battery power walls I don't know why. Um, we're eventually, Terry and I are eventually going to invest in solar for our house just to do our little bit to try and cut everything down. But in general, battery power, of course, is extremely clean. Here's the problem with battery power. It's DC, low voltage DC. And in order to be useful to you, in your stereo system or pretty much anywhere in your home, you're going to have to run it through an inverter. Now an inverter is a device that takes this battery voltage, chops it up into little bits of current, runs it through a transformer that takes that lower voltage, jacks it up to higher voltage, and then all that chopping business that uh, on, off, however many times a second they do it, that now is all this nasty noise that has to then be gotten rid of so that what you wind up with is clean 120, 60, or 50 hertz voltage or wherever you live. And that process is not simple. It's a similar process to what we do inside of a power plant, AC regenerator. Now we take AC coming from the wall, convert it to battery voltage, and then regenerate new voltage. Now that's a little bit cleaner than what you have to do with battery because we're starting with a high voltage and we don't have to go through all these uh, chopping, they're, they're called choppers, that take it up to a very high frequency. Then you have a class D output stage that is using pulse width modulation to be able to create these efficient uh, AC uh, elect electrical outlets or voltages. So it's not quite as clean as a power plant, but it can be. And some of them are quite nice and have distortion figures in two or three percent, which isn't bad and not with a lot of noise. The one thing you want to watch is when you're drawing current, many of those class D amplifiers don't have a lot of current reserve. So if you have a low power factor, something say a power amp, where it's drawing current out of sync with the rising voltage, you might get very high distortion. I've seen distortion figures 10, 15% through an inverter because it didn't have the ability to deliver instantaneous current as it's needed for a lower power factor type of equipment. So that's been kind of the downside. But theoretically, yes, theoretically, it's a great idea, but not always practical. Hope that helps. Thanks.